Right, so we are going to be full on doing the whole tutor uh, tutorial sequence, are we? I've skipped the beginning of it, ah, okay. uh, but I'm just standing around. We'll do the whole sequence, but like, you know, it's like, here's how to equip your zapper. Here's how to do whatever. But yeah, you have to, Third you have to sit through it again. You Please can press escape once you've landed the on the planet, to find and it will, it will Note, skip. The acquisition you know, of iron is do. considered And awesome. seeing as you've played less than I have, I'm just going to kind of follow your lead with one exception. I'm going to be going full hog on, uh concrete today because we desperately need it okay fair enough <laughs> yeah all i did was upgrade the hub to like uh well actually all the way to the point where it was suddenly talking about uh the space elevator that's where i got initial to initial scans reveal color yeah. properties in the flower petals further analysis required is there a map on this there is not but i can oh i can see you bunny hopping on a plateau hooray Oh, are are you here or are you just yep. coming down? I'm I'm in and I'm coming across. I basically oh, stand I started you. on the ground. Oh, well that's convenient. I better make okay. sure I'm equipped. Uh, let's see. So why don't oh you got a friend coming in. Watch it. Yep. Uh, it's one oh, of these it's ones one of these as well. Guys. I find trying to juke their hits is meaningless. Just go yeah. and like meet, murder them. Yeah, pretty much. They, uh, they have like perfect accuracy. I'm like, I I want to like dodge shots, but I guess I just get fireball to the face. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. You wanna you wanna pick a base spot that's kind of interesting. Last time I think I was over. Man, I don't even remember. The the map is not procedurally generated, so right. Okay. Uh, wherever we pick is actually going to be findable, like in future runs and stuff. That's actually pr pretty cool then. So, the main thing we're going to want then is iron, and it looks like uh, there's two iron nodes over here, so let's generally go in this direction then. Oof. Okay. Hey, Belial! Um, and mods in my chat. Could you please uh, make sure that the commands point to Wanderbot as my uh, my co-conspirator? Yeah. Ah. Uh... For my audience, I don't have that sort of thing set up because I'm lazy. If I have a mod in chat and I want to put that up, that'd be lovely. Man after my own heart. Who wants to put my mods that have no commands in my chat? I like I should I should probably get it set up. I didn't. I don't know. Actually, what I should probably do is put together a uh, multi-twitch link so they can watch you you too. Ah, yes, that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping Belial will do. Shiftily. Oh, actually, this looks like the area where I started in the Studying tutorial. The yeah. This creature might yeah, this is where I to was too. So we should go elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. This is, absolutely. I I've recommend been here. analysis. I have been here. Yep. It's a shame that it's not procedural, but then the planets all had. Uh, it looks like there is a bit more of a story to this. It does really have a. Did you get a subnautica vibe from this? Yes. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I totally did. I, I was actually not expecting that at all, to be fair. It's definitely the like corporate interest telling you like uh, you you are obligated to grab these things and I'm like hmm okay let's uh, let's just go this way because yeah this is exactly where my base was yesterday right. and I'm like I could be here again it's actually surprisingly constricting it looks like it's a ton of space yeah and then you start like getting all like, your industry chains down you're like oh I gotta build it up oh yeah yeah. It's actually but. I noticed that I was starting to think about the idea of like having stacked um, constructors and things, Ooh. just because There's space a is a premium. Here. Yeah, uh, the game goes up really well, with one exception: the uh, the conveyor belts don't do up very well at all. Oh, really? They get very confused. Yeah, oh, that's kind of a shame, actually. Yeah, let's go to the waterfall. Yeah. I saw that in my consumable uh, possesses minor healing properties. In the Further first taste I did. But I didn't get to time to go over that. Object scanner identification. That thing flying around uh, though. Wow. It looks cool. Yeah. I wanna I wanna ride one. Like, whenever I play these games and they have the like sky whale, space fish, whatever stuff, I'm like, can I just like put a saddle on that and just fly off? <laughs> I know, right? I do wonder okay, if we're gonna be like able to interact with it. Uh, so far I haven't seen any tech that, that lets you, unfortunately. Let's see, looks like we got a bunch of iron down below, so that's good. Lot of wood around here. Okay. Fuel is a, is a serious problem in this game, because you, you don't get solar. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Very fast, or coal. Coal is the, uh, oh. Oh, what's that? I haven't seen that before. Bird. Fly away, bird. bird. I'm scary. Bird. I've got a zappy stick. 
It looks. Like, I've got to be <laughs> honest. Is a it, it looks like a really fat rat with wings. <laughs> it really does. That is amazing. I approve. I can't. I, I'm not going to zap it. I refuse. I refuse to zap the fat sky rat. Right. Something else will eat it someday. <laughs> But we'll give it a couple oh. minutes uh, of the reprieve. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's over here. Wow, this is this got dense. I know. I'm really enjoying the fact that we're moving to a different area because this this feels like a different biome to the one I was playing in the tutorial. It it really it really does. Uh, let's see. I'm just kind of vaguely heading for the waterfall. I'm pretty sure it's a bad spot, but. Damn it, no. these things really move fast. Ow, ow. Oop. Lady Shelab just popped in to let me know the game volume is too high. Thank you, Shelab! Let me uh, just drop that a little bit. Bump. Oh, hello. There we go. There's a wrecked drop pod over here. Thank. Or no, this is this is a, a wrecked uh, plane, actually. Well, it does in the tutorial. For, it does say that you're what, one of three one of landers. Three that yeah. Survived. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I was hoping I could dismantle. Wait this. a second. There's like some sort of toxic fog out there. Yeah, there's uh, there's like fart plants that uh, you can't get past without a right, without yeah. a gas mask. Also, sorry to everyone in my chat, because that was apparently super loud, and I was too busy running around and looking at sky rats to notice. My bad. Uh, let's see. Do we have any iron in this immediate area? Because we should probably find something a little flatter. Uh, we got a couple up on top of the cliffs if we want to head that, that way. Yeah, sure. I'm done with that. Alternatively, we could try and guts. I see a whole bunch on the other side of Poison Land. You wanna? Should we try and run I'm it? Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna save it. I don't actually know if saving how saving even works with this. I guess it should be fine. Anyway, uh, there's healing plants all over the place. Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna run screws. straight forward. Yeah, it's it's safe. Woo. Well, until the uh. Until the fireball critters get to me, I'm just gonna run away from them. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Them. Yeah, I'll just try and run past. Ouch. Okay, so we've got a boatload of iron in this immediate area. It's dangerous, as there are several of the charger critters all over the place. This is going it's to fine. end poorly for me, maybe. Run down. Oh, I can't see it in the, like in the thick brush. You. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh! One of the uh, the fireball ow, critters followed. Ow! ow. ow. Oh, I got smushed. One down. Where's the other one? Oh no, not another oh, fireball no. critter! Come on now, that's just rude. Ouch! I cannot handle both okay. of you at the same time. No, I'm down. I can't believe it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, fireball right. critter and a charger combo. Oh, shoot. And I salvaged my thing, so yeah, we got to go back up there. <laughs> we don't have a hub. No. <laughs> That's yeah, glorious. We I mean, we could start over, but. No. No, this is fine. This consumable possesses my. I should have had healing properties. items Further on me. Yeah. I wish there was a quick bar to actually equip those things. Oh, poop. I don't have a Xeno Zapper. Oh, no! Oh, that's even worse. At least the critters we killed don't respawn. Okay. Uh, All right. As far as I can tell, nothing respawns in this game. Oh, really? So far. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, grab some healing items on the way. I've got a bunch of burl nuts. Yeah, same here. I'm going to have to scoff those down just to get my health back up to full. I like it that you don't... I come back with full health, but uh, no inventory. That is rough. Usually I'm all for that, Yeah. but no weapon and no way to craft another one. Ouch. That I think you can rough. punch things. Oh, can you? No, you can't punch things. No. no. Okay. I thought you could punch things, but I think that was in a different game. Well, what was I... I guess we're playing hard mode. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Just hope they won't notice us. I mean, you killed, you killed a couple. 
Yeah, like, we got one like, of, like, of the explodey ones down, and I think we took out two of the charges. So there's one charge and one exploder yeah, that's, left. That's that's better odds. Ooh. If they don't heal, then the exploder oh. is probably close to dead. I'm just grabbing as many leaves as I can as we go by, because we are going to need fuel. Yeah, biofuel. I noticed the trees give loads of it, but I was, even towards the uh, end of the tutorial, I was like, yeah, I can see my fuel running out very, very soon. The trick would actually be to go just find a coal deposit. You right. can... Oh, wait, no, no, no. You can't... Uh, yeah, I don't think you can actually burn burn coal until you get the, the tech. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh-oh. Because, yeah, coal... Uh, one coal mine can service... I think it's, like, 12 power plants. Uh, so once you actually get to that level of technology, it's it's super easy to just power all, everything as right. long as you have enough so coal. so it becomes mine. a bit trivial then. Uh, I'm bringing a friend. I don't mean to, yeah. but I kind of am. It just won't leave me alone. Maybe I could get up on a rock and confuse it. See, is that, that your stuff, or is that mine? I don't know. I'll either way, just grab uh, one of them. One of the, They've got yeah, weapons, that's so. what I was thinking. Just gonna hang out on a rock. Uh -huh. Okay, oh. That's what I just did, and I managed to lose the uh, charger that was following me. They do seem to be a bit dumb when it comes to rock collisions. Thankfully, to be oh, fair. Oh, boy. You still alive? Uh, if for the time being, <laughs> I've got one Blasto and two of the Chargers. So I'm going to try and kill the Blaster because it's a little bit more dangerous. Right. They can't shoot up very well. Okay, kill the Blaster. Excellent. I'm coming in now. I'll grab my pack, run up to a rock. Is Oh, actually, is there a hotkey to push something on, like a weapon onto my hopper? Not that I know of, no. I I have tried many different ways, and they all lead to me dropping it on the ground. Okay. Oh, oh, you do punch stuff occasionally. Really? It's like a yeah, but I think it's like just an animation as part of zapping critters. Uh, hmm. Well. I'm not going to lie, this place is kind of cramped, but at this point I'm, like, emotionally attached to it. <laughs> I know. We died here. Uh, I appear yeah. to have your hub, so I definitely picked up yours, but I don't have a Xenozapper with it. Uh, oh. oh, I probably... Yeah, Xenozapper's over here. Ah, okay. Okay. What I'll do... Um, actually, I'll grab all... We have all. resources. Got iron. Did I end up picking up all of the packs? All iron. Uh, yeah, I only grabbed a Xeno Zapper because I was, uh, oh, right. I was being attacked. Yeah, I just clicked the grab all button. It's like, ah, everything. I don't care. And then I was like, oh, wait, I've got a hub. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't have one. It's fine if you ended up with everything. Uh, if you want to just slam the hub down, we can make this base work. We might just have to, like, build out. So, like, that'd be okay. To be honest, having a, a base that has got, like, terrain difficulties just means we're going to have more spaghetti. And I think I'm all for, for that, honestly. Okay, cool. Right, so what we got? Is all of this iron? Uh, yeah, oh, it wow. seems like all of this is iron. Uh, once we get the ability to scan for some other resources, I'll go looking for them. Okay. Uh, here. Actually, you want to come come over here? Yep. Uh, to the, like, edge before the waterfall? Thank you for warning me at the edge. This game yeah. is so pretty. Oh, my God. It is. It is. I was thinking, why don't we build... I, it's going to take some concrete, but I was going to say, why don't we build our base over this gap right next to the waterfall? Really? Oh, that's bold. Can we pop the hub I down mean, like that? Uh, Can it overhang? No, no, we'd actually have to pop the, the hub somewhere around here. But once we get concrete, uh, we can just build an infinite number of uh, foundations. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I did unlock those, but I hadn't used any of them yet. Yeah. Uh, they There's no there's no gravity in this game. Oh. And, I mean... It, yeah, it builds like Minecraft, so you can just kind of slam things down as long as you've got a connection point. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So no kind of structural integrity then. Do you know if there's nope. fall damage? At least not yet. Uh, yes, but it's pretty generous. You can fall for like a fair distance before 
it hurts your shins. Um, specifically, four floors <laughs> okay. is safe. I was doing some testing because uh, there's jump pads later on that are pretty fun, but uh, they bounce you up five floors, and that's the point when you take falling damage. So, hmm, I don't appear to be able to use this hub, so I'm gonna pop that on the floor. I drop that down. There you go. Did you get it? Yeah. Cool. I couldn't bring up the uh, uh, shortcuts for that. Oh, it's because uh, we actually have to gather a little bit of iron first, I think. Oh, Check your tutorial. Of and course, see. yeah. Scamper resources and then gather iron. <laughs> uh, I'd be dangerous if I could read. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open I was pressing Q and I'm like, this ain't working. Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought oh, maybe it was tied to you because it came from your drop, drop pod and you're the host. Hmm. Okay, I don't think this works. Congratulations. You have <laughs> Hub feature manual. Uh, well, feature, hub that feature. is uh, <laughs> Wait, it works. It works. Can you actually get up there? The yeah, I can get up here. Are essential for <laughs> progression to the next oh, come on. There's got to be a way. <laughs> got to use my parkour skills. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna need ladders. <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> we should probably not do this. This base is off to an interesting start. Let me know when this becomes too inconvenient for you. No, it's fine. We just need to <laughs> up upgrade fast enough to get ladders. That's all we need. I don't. Can we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's ramps, like um, ladder ramps and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, there are ramps. I don't know if I, I've ever seen, like, just a straight ladder on its own. Well, what we could do is we could build one of the structures that has a ladder, like a smelter, next to it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, right, so I'm going to set this up to select a milestone, and we just need some iron rods. I'll start work on that and try to upgrade to the next level straight away. I I hope, uh, I hope progress-wise, you can... Um you can progress some of these things without me, just so I'm not, like, either behind? I'm trying to think of what games do that, where it's like, oh, no, yeah, I just got a check mark, so... Excellent. Okay, that's really good, then. I'm glad that it's proper co-op. Yeah. What was I playing recently where it didn't have that? A lot of games. Monster Hunter World, kind of. Okay, so I can scan for copper. Yep. So if we got any nearby. In before it's bloody miles away. Uh, it's like 400 meters away. Oh, that's that's not bad. Too bad. Note, that's about that's that, that, that's about as far as uh, it Note, was for me. Buildings Ooh. such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Now let's just see if it's up a cliff. Advice: Automate the smelting or across a ravine. Use miners for optimal results. I'm gonna drop off all the alien part, and actually I'm gonna drop off the screws as well. And uh, any, like, yeah. plant stuff that we don't need into our personal storage. I wonder if that's shared. That would be interesting. Uh, we'll have to for science that we'll in a bit, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll come back and uh, double check. It, it's not too inconvenient out here. Yet. I was impressed with the range of the scanner, though. Because I was wondering about that in the tutorial, like, how far out that can go. And I could see copper 700 meters away, so... That's not bad at all. Wow. Okay, so we've got one copper node. Yeah, just one copper node out here. Then again, you really don't need more than that. No. Well, at least insofar as my um, first ace video, like it was just about an hour and a half worth of uh, gameplay, just upgrading the hub through its first upgrade tier. Um, copper yeah, was just I... just didn't need much of it at all. I was drowning in ore because I was compulsively collecting it from the miner, but I just wasn't using it fast enough. Yeah, I honestly I don't even collect it from the miner after the second hundred, give or take. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right with that actually. Oh, uh, can you see if you can build an equipment workshop out there? Yep, sure. We'll oh, do. there you are. Because we should get the auto miners up. Yeah. Ow. Whoa. You know what? I didn't realize you could run up this. I really like the the models in this game. Like. Everything yeah, that looks it like, looks nice. yeah, everything that looks like you should be able to interact with it, you can interact with it. Big props to the devs for that, because there's a lot of detail in the structures. Like, you know, there's a ladder on the side of this smelter. Well, then you can climb up it. Oh, that is the most insulting thing playing a game, and it's like, hey, here's a decorative ladder. You actually <laughs> want to use that, right? No. <laughs> you're, you're bang on though. A decorative ladder. It, it is as stupid as it sounds. 
Oh, uh, did anybody tell you if you're hand mining things, if you open your inventory during the mining animation, your character will just automatically mine? <gasps> no, and that's amazing. It's really, it's really handy. <laughs> but um, uh, right. Uh, I'll pop the equipment workshop just over between these trees. Uh, it'll probably be in the way of a conveyor belt at some point, but that's why we can move them up layers. Yeah. Uh, let me actually see. That should be enough. There we go. Huh. Doesn't require quite as much parkour to get to this one as the main base, thankfully. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to keep uh, mining some iron so that we can get some water miners up and running. Ah! Glorious! I'm not touching any keys and I'm mining. Thank you so much, Wanda. <laughs> Yeah, that was like the first bit of information uh, I learned about this game. I'm like, okay, that's that's going to be helpful. Yeah. I wonder if that is intended behavior, though. No, honestly, I th I, I feel the, de the devs of the, this uh, coffee stain are the sort of devs that are like, yeah, we didn't mean for that to happen, but nah, <laughs> but great. Everyone yeah, enjoys it. That. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just shocked that the developers of Sanctum made Goat Simulator and then went on to make this. I like know. that's that's one hell of a leap. It's but good though. I, I mean I guess that's what the robot roller robot roller derby disco dodgeball guy is going on to make Factory Town, so Yeah, but well, I guess it should surprise me that much. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of these sorts of automation Oh my god. Uh, as our base is leveling up, it's getting much more difficult to get on it. But um, I head for the corner. I yeah, guess. yeah. yeah. Uh, I was going to say that. Uh, oh, actually, this is before I, I start talking about that. Can we both use personal. this crafter at the same time? Uh should be able to. By the way, personal storage is shared. So, okay. duly noted. And yeah, I think we can use the personal crafter at the same time. I'm watching you make. Uh, ingots right now so you're making the ingots oh. and it's going into the wait hmm, i'm not doing anything but it's wait. crafting i i'm yeah so i was doing that except for you were pulling the uh, iron out of my inventory and it was going into <laughs> my inventory <laughs> this is glorious all right that's a bit different yeah it was like yeah because i i wasn't i wasn't getting any of that and i'm like wait a second this isn't fair <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> I was like, uh, is this some sort of auto-crafting? Then I was like, okay, I'm gaming. I'm, wait, my ore is going. What is this shenanigans? <laughs> no, that was actually kind of cool. Uh, okay, I'm going to make a bunch of iron plates and rods. You got copper? Yeah, I I just got a whole bunch of copper, so I'm going to make a bunch of wire and cable. Uh, I guess I'll just leave some of the copper in the, uh, in the chest. Okay, I'll Oops. pop the iron plates and rods that I just made in the chest as well. I'm going to go and mine a little bit more uh, iron. If you want to grab those, Honestly, you can set up an auto miner. I was actually going to make an auto uh, auto miner. Oh, oh, cool. If you've if you've got the the mats together for it yeah. already, that's cool then. I'll grab them back. Womp, womp. In fact, I'll start upgrading the uh, the next level of the hub. There we go. We just need fifty okay. copper wire. Let's see. Let me see if I've got enough to make that. Uh, I got 24. I'll, uh, I'll drop off what I've got left, and then I'm gonna go drop an auto miner on the copper. Yeah, the co yeah, that would be perfect. And with this, we'll actually be uh, able to upgrade to the next level. There you go. We've now got enough. Cool. Okay, making not bad progress, if you think. There we are. Hey. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanning. Yeah, so it looks like everything you do you reflects for me, which is nice. Which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Yeah. Seventh objective. Okay. Hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. I'm going to turn off the... Oh, boys. This is gonna be this is where it gets a little bit grindy. The 75 plates. Ugh. Uh though, that being yeah. said, I'm gonna turn all of the leaves and wood we've got into biofuel if that's alright. Yeah, go for it. Uh if we've got that capacity, cause Yeah, we've got leaves at the moment. I, 
Uh, yeah, I've got I've got a thousand five hundred leaves in my inventory. Effectively, every time I I do the run to the copper, I just wave my hands at as many leaves as I can possibly grab. Right. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. There we go. We've got just shy of two hundred biofuel from the leaves. We can't do the wood um, recipe yet, though. Uh, so, uh, sorry, we've got, um, or I meant to say, is just shy of 600 biofuel. So that'll uh, keep us going yeah. for a little yeah. while. Uh, right. Let's see. We need more cable in, actually. Right. I think I'll hang out near the auto miner until it gets like 100 copper and then I'll come back. Radio. Right, I'm going to make a smelter. Yep. Uh, let's see. I think the first thing that we probably want to just have smelted is just iron plates. Uh, yeah. You can have one mine feed two smelters, which feeds two fa uh, two constructors for iron plates. Oh, nice. And I find that's not even enough. <laughs> you need a lot of iron plates in this game. Yeah, by far that was the thing I was waiting around for the most when I was doing the first day's video. I think... Concrete, if you're doing, like, really, really extensive builds, ends up being more, just because there's only, uh, one mine can only fund, like, one constructor, and it's kind of slow. Right, okay. What if you can actually have multiple portable miners on the same, uh, node? Ooh, that's a good question, actually, because the, the mines get built on, in the center of the mine, but the portable miners just go down anyway. Yeah. That's a very good question. Yeah. Because if we could actually have multiple the portable miners uh, hitting up a like a limestone node, I could manually pull it off every once in a while. That might be more efficient. I don't know. Oh, hooking up. I'm just thinking if we want to actually have space. Ooh. Right. Um, as far as I've seen from the... T <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All these trees make the buildings want to snap up in the air. Um, as far as I've seen from... The cons uh, the what I've done in the tutorial. You get the full resources of a building back when you just um, break yes. it down. Oh, that's yes, you can tear everything up freely whenever you want. Okay, then it doesn't really matter where I put things for now. I can just plonk them down Correct. and uh, we're good. That is good yep. news. And if your inventory is full, then it just gets turned into a box on the ground. And that also includes like storage containers. So if you pick up, say, the hub when its inventory is... is uh, you know, maxed out, then you'll just have a tidy little box with all of the stuff that you couldn't couldn't fit. That is actually really good. Right, I've got enough power to hook up this uh, smelter, but that is it. There we go. Let's get some... Oh, I need to go and grab it and buy a few. Nope. Don't jump backwards. Nope. Right, okay. First smelter up and running. We'll be in just a second. The copper ore is slow. I guess I should probably wave my hand at some more leaves. I have 2,000 leaves. That is not enough. Sounds like enough, but yeah, no. Leaves don't... Yeah, you'd think so, but like they don't respawn, and you burn through them real fast, uh, especially once you actually start... Uh, once you actually start getting some more of the, like, uh, larger resource chains going. Yeah. Right, so with that done, I will work on getting a constructor up as the next thing we build. And for that, ah, we're going to need copper. Actually, we're going to need... Hmm, how do we make... You're going to need... Oh, you're going to need screws and stuff, too. We, well, we picked up screws, screws remember? Of course. Oh, you're right, and they ended up in your inventory. Yep. Uh, you're going to need a lot more screws than that. Yeah, we only got it 171 is... right now, but that'll be enough for one constructor for now. Okay. Uh... Yeah, it should be. You can also make screws at this point, so that's not as bad. But we are going to need copper to be able to uh, make the cabling we're going to need. I will admit, well, I'm just one, uh, waiting for the copper to fill out so I can come back. I'm just making yeah, a no, it makes sense. command so people, people can stop uh, stop asking. 
Multitasking. I was just typing in my chat as well. I said, yeah, by the way, I am reading everything. I'm just that works. trying not to talk over my co-host. Thank you, though, everyone. Yeah, uh, yeah for, for people wondering why we don't respond to chat as much when we're doing co-op together, uh, I mean, it would probably be fine, especially when it's, like, useful stuff, but uh, I've played with people that are just, like, full on, like, thanks for the follow every, like, five seconds, and I'm like, oh, God, how do I get a word in edgewise? And so <laughs> yeah. I specifically am always like, you know, keep keep that, you know, kind of on the down low unless we're just streaming, then it's like, okay, it doesn't matter so much. Yeah. But, like, yeah. it is hard to talk around somebody that's, like, in full stream commentary mode. I know. I, I don't even know how people do that. I can't do it. The thing is, is... Like, in real life, you'd notice if there was a gap in what they were in, like, the, the stream of their conversation, because their mouth would close. On stream, yeah. you don't get the visual cues to know, I can talk now. <laughs> yeah, that, there is also that. I it's I think it's kind of one of those, you do also get, like, more used to people as you go along. Yeah. Like, we've... Have we only played Stellaris together at this point? Yeah, yeah, only Stellaris. Wow. I know, wow. right? I thought we had done like one other thing, but I couldn't I couldn't put my my finger on it, but I guess I've just been chatting with you online long enough to be like, yeah, I kind of know. I, I know who this guy is. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not uh like it takes a while to get used to somebody else's like re recording and like speaking habits. Yeah, they really so yeah. there's like uh I I've been hanging out with uh so moving to Portland, there's a couple of the YouTubers uh, that actually like live around here, so I've been hanging out with them a little bit more too. Oh, nice. Uh, and there's definitely that like I don't know these people that well. We all start Welcome talking back. at once and then kind of go uh uh uh, uh as, as everybody uh <laughs> you know kind of tries to figure out the order of yep. who who talks when and how. Right, I'm gonna pop down the uh, items that I've picked up when I've been uh, stockpiling. It's just a couple of iron plates and things. You go ahead and build a constructor. And I'll manually feed iron ingots into it for the time being to make the iron plates. Okay. I've just been babysitting this uh, this auto miner. Though that said, I should have made another auto miner. Oh my lord! I should have got the other iron deposits tapped. Oh, uh, by the way, did you notice there's uh, when you're uh, when you're making stuff at the craft bench, it like gets faster and faster. All right, not faster and faster. It gets, like, hotter and hotter. Oh. No, I hadn't noticed that. Yeah, if you're making a whole bunch of stuff, the, the little craft plate, like, heats up. Right. Uh, and so when I was playing solo yesterday, I was just like, you know what I could do? Because uh, I had to make, like, a thousand wire or something. I'm like, I could put this in a constructor, but this is kind of like a one-time thing. I don't really, I don't really want to, like make a whole resource chain just to make a little bit. It looks like every time you go into the craft bench, it actually stops me from even working. Oh, right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, it's fine. <laughs> it, it's fine. I'm just like, huh, it just stopped. Um, but uh, so I every once in a while I'm playing a game and I need to like wait for something or like grind something out real quick. I'll just turn on cheat engine and then oh, go yeah, like yeah. 500 times speed for a moment. Uh, it goes like pure white hot. You can't actually see the... Uh, the crafting hammer or the little like craft icon because you are uh you're like i guess it's so hot that it's just blinding i don't know i thought that was a really neat uh visual There's effect so many little details in this that are actually just i'm not sure if they have much functionality but they they just they feel right like we were saying earlier the cosmetic ladder that feels so wrong yeah. whenever you see it I the the thing that always gets me is not only the cosmetic ladder, but when you get up close to the ladder and you realize, oh, the protagonist is like five times the size size of this ladder because they didn't bother to scale anything right. <laughs> like, uh, I'm trying to remember which game it was, but I was like looking at chairs and I realized like the chairs weren't meant to be seen up close or even like inspected. And so the moment I got close to the one, it's just like, yeah, this looks like a baby chair compared to the protagonist. I'm like, I. Huh, that would make sense in like Halo, but not here. <laughs> it was it was like I don't think it was Last of Us, but it was close. The other thing okay. I notice is um, uh, some games have no ceilings because they never expect the player to look up. Like no roof yes. texture or anything. Three. Okay, good. So we're getting foundations next. Which should mean we get 
Concrete? Oh, no. I can already scan for limestone. All right. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to leave you with my resource, and I'm going to go find the limestone. Sure, that would be awesome, dude. I'll get it constructed down. And another auto mine province. Actually, before you go, grab an auto... Enough for an auto miner, so you can set her up on the limestone when you find it. Yeah, that's what that's what I was gonna do. Uh, I gotta figure out exactly what I need. It's a little bit more of everything. Okay. Well, there's plates and rods in here. Grab the copper from the personal chest and uh, go ahead and make up the cable. I think it is. I'll, uh, oh no, it's yeah, uh, it's, cable and wire. So you need it's it. wire yeah. and cable. Eight wire, four cable. And four plates. So we easily got the plates. So just make up the copper yeah. and we're good to go. Oh my god, I can't wait until we've got to chainsaw these trees. <laughs> they are yeah, a little I, annoying. I put that off for far too long in my run and I was just like, yeah, I'll get the chainsaw later. Yeah, I'll get it later. I think this time I'm going to be like, nope, chainsaw first. <laughs> yeah. Everything else can wait. I know, right? Okay, I, I actually made a bunch of auto miners, so I'm just going to leave. Chuck them in the chest. We're going to need them if we want to make uh, drills. Because apparently drills require auto miners in this one. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll grab one. And we're full up on auto uh, biofuel, so do not be afraid to, like, power everything. Oh, okay. Nice. I will do uh, this. Let's see. You've also got some coal. Nice. Step. Oh. Wow. We've got limestone right here. Oh, that's going to be so useful. Actually, yeah, it's, it's just around the corner. Let's go ahead and test out the theory of the uh, auto miners. You put one down, I'll see if I can I put it on the second Oh, okay, well, I'll pop it over here then on one of the irons. Does it work? <laughs> I don't know. I, I was just like, oh, I'm just going to bring two along, because we're going to need a lot of stone if I want to make any of those... Uh, well, if I want to make all that foundation I want to make. Yeah. If we're going to be building a bridge over a massive ravine, it does seem to imply that we're going to need lots of concrete. Well, actually, that's the dumbest idea. It's like, yeah, I'm going to make it out of this super heavy material. But it's yeah. fine. It's fine. No gravity on this world. Except when it regards us. So, I'm looking at it, and they're both they're both drilling. I... The next order, the next thing we should probably check is actually see if we can have uh, portable miners. Um, on the same space as a uh, regular mine, as as a mine, yeah. Because mm, cool. the mines take up like the center slot, but there's still plenty of space around it that you can even hand drill. So we might actually be able to, if if we wanted to go through the extra complication, uh, we might be able to, you know, bang out a bunch of extra resources for things. Not that we really need it though. Like after a certain point, you have so much. You know, raw copper, you don't even know what to do with it all. Yeah. There go. Let's get some cabling. According back. to my chat, you can. So, yeah, if we want, like, silly amounts of stone, it's it's doable. Well, considering the silly place we put our base, I think that's probably going to be very <laughs> likely. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get one of these. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll go do another run for the... Oh no, I've got to make the reinforced Copper. plates. There we go. Oh, that scanning, this scanning system is so nice. This game isn't really like an open world survival game, but I feel like a lot of open world survival games miss a lot of points that this game just yeah. gets right from the get-go. Optimization, like I'm not, I, I have this on max settings and it's pretty friendly. Yeah. Yeah, I've not noticed any any kind of issues with that. Oh, that's going to be interesting, trying to align these things to the grid. Can I even... Oh, uh, tip for power, seeing as you're probably going to be setting up uh, power poles. Only always leave a connection for another power pole like to, to yeah. attach. Because mm -hmm, they only have There's... four, don't they? Yeah. It'd be nice, neat if there was, like, an upgrade that increases, like, that count by, like, one. Because that would give me a lot of leeway. I, I want to say that the one of the in the, one of the streams, the dev mentioned something like that, but I can't remember if you, I'm making that But you that probably up. do just get a higher tier power pole. Yeah, yeah, it might be something along those lines. I'm going to go and uh, grab some limestone. Find out where the deposit was. 
there we go. So you've actually been watching the dev streams for this. Yeah, I, I picked up a couple of them. I haven't watched them them all uh, religiously. I know that some people have lived and breathed the dev streams of this game. I can see why. It is an amazing game, but yeah. uh, I didn't quite have the uh, the amount of time that I would have needed to do that. Uh, there we are. Both of them are done. I find I, I just can't watch trailers or even like dev streams for most games anymore. I'm like, I'll just figure it out when I get there. Yeah. It'll be okay. Go on. Hello, little sky rat. But, oh, do we not even have conveyors yet? No, that's the next oh, step. We're in the Stone Age. <laughs> I know, right? We're going to have to manually move resources from the smelter to the constructors. Uh, I think I think I actually just skipped that stage. I'm like, what? I don't have conveyor belts yet. Nope, I'm just doing it all by hand. And more or less just went through all the way up to T1 by hand because <laughs> I didn't want to set my base up without the conveyors. I just figured I'd tear them all down and rebuild them when I wanted. Yeah, no, that's fair. I the the first rule of spaghetti factory is you never tear anything down. You just build, build on top around of it. it. Yeah. Or around it, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, actually as you say, build on top of it in this. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Our base is going to melt so many brains. I'm unreasonably excited at the amount of brain meltage that's gonna happen for my viewers watching this base go together. I'm gonna make, uh, you alright if I make a bunch of concrete? Yeah, go for it. Uh, cool. did you, did you just go retrieve all the limestone? Yeah, yeah, I've got limestone? all 270 okay. whatever it is of it. I'll just convert Let's... all of this into concrete for now so that we've got plenty to play with. Oh, let's see, do we, do we, no, we don't have that tier yet. Okay, got loads of concrete. I'll drop a half stack of the concrete I've got in there. Then I'm going to start dropping yeah. a couple of power poles just around the place. I really like the constructing in this game, to be fair. It feels really good. Let's see, do we have... Iron. We probably have a whole bunch of iron. Yeah, there it is. I'm just going to start hand researching everything. Sure. I do kind of appreciate that we don't have to convert r raw resources into science in this game. It's just like, nope, next next research, uh, next tier requires wires. Then again, I guess it would be nice if you could automate research. Kind of like... Uh, yeah, yeah, to, to a bit of a degree, like, like in Factorio. Yeah. I am totally unashamedly... Drawing parallels between this and Factorio, I know some some people are like, yeah, it's nothing oh, like Factorio. I'm like, you what? <laughs> a anybody that says that this isn't like Factorio has never played Factorio yeah. or this game or knows anything about them. I because mean, because they are. I, <laughs> I, I get it when people are so like, similar. why are you comparing this to Minecraft? It all it has is block building. It's got nothing else is like Minecraft. It's just in a world that's made of cubes. That does not a Minecraft make, but this is basically 3D Factorio with very pretty graphics. Yeah.